What's going on everybody? Marty here. Welcome to another episode of Essentially Thomcraft. And as you can see, I've got a rift here. It looks like it's pretty stable. I don't see it moving and doing all kinds of stuff. Unnatural hunger. All right, I don't see it doing a whole lot of stuff. I'm starting to gain some warp here. But you can see my stabilizers are lit up. I'm going to actually uh, break these guys and take them. And then I'm going to take the Causality Collapser and hit her. What I get? I've gained Temporary Warp. It does not look like I got Primordial Pearl. All right. Let's see. Eldritch, we could probably unlock these. Void Seer's Pearl. Let's do that one. Um, I will find V much easier to manipulate. Hold on. I'll tell you what that does in a second. Alright. My hunger begins to fade. Okay, so we ate that. <laughs> do I still have a natural hunger? I don't think so. Alright, so the Void Seer's Pearl, what that does is, based on the amount of warp you have, uh, it gives you a greater discount in V for crafting. Okay, cool. Uh, void Siphon. That's pretty sweet. So what this one does is you place it by a rift, and then it uh, it turns the rift into prime the, the void seeds. So that one's pretty fancy. And let's go back over into uh, that one and do Thaumium Fortress Armor. We got that one completed, so that's just some cool-looking armor. That gives you... Actually, that doesn't give you a, a V... Um, discount. But these are good. The Goggles of Revealing, Thaumium Fortress Helm, uh, A Grinning Devil, Angry Ghost, and Sipping Fiend. So let's see what they all do. Uh, Grinning Devil. Mm, dampening the effect of those suffering from warp. Okay, that's good. Uh, struck in Combat. Uh, has a chance of suffering a withering effect. So it withers them back. And Sipping Fiend. Sometimes you steal a small portion of their life to strengthen your own. So that's a pretty good one. And then, obviously, the Helm of Revealing does. But since we've got the, the baubles in there, it goes on a bobble slot, and we don't really need to do that one. All right, uh, what else? Runic Shielding. I should probably work on getting that sometime soon. Uh, greater Foci. Eh, I don't want to do that one right now. Don't want to do that either. Alchemy? Alchemy. Oh, yeah. Liquid Death. Bottled Taint. Let's knock that one out. 30 aqua. Uh, let's, let's, we'll, we'll try that one a little bit later. Uh, purifying bath sauce. I should probably get into that because that removes some of your temporary warp. Um, oh no, the sanitary soap. Complete that, something that will cleanse my body of warp completely. Let's go with that. So is it... Is it temporary? Okay, chance of reducing non-permanent warp and remove all temporary warp. All right, so that's a good one. Um, Arcane Spa, let's get that. All right, that is the thing where you put your bath salts in and then it makes a little bath. You get the Arcane Spa. <laughs> you just like chill in there and it does its thing. Um, let's see, what else? Potion Sprayer, oh, Void Metal Essentia Smelter. That's what we need to do. So we should probably get that up and running. And we got the void metal plates. So let's do that. Complete that. So now we have the advanced alchemical construct. The void metal essentia smelter. And that one should be good. So this one roughly 95% efficiency instead of 80. So if we went to this one. This one's 90 efficiency. And this one is... I'm guessing this one was just 80, right? 20% of the time, yeah. So it does make it better. It does make it a lot better. So we're going to have to upgrade to the Void Metal Essentia Smeltery downstairs. And that will help, you know, reduce the effects of the flux in the area. So that'll be a good one. Uh, potion Sprayer. I'm trying to see, like, well, these would be good, but I don't think I have a, a use immediately for them. We'll have to eventually get them. I haven't really been doing anything with... Uh, with uh, Golomancy yet, but somebody commented in the, the video, like a couple videos ago, and I will get into Golomancy, but just not right now. 
Uh, now we can do the Void Thaumaturge armor. Let's get that one going. There we go. Now we have Warping 3 plus a V discount of 5% on each piece of this. So that's 15 total. So that should be good. This armor can be dyed. All right. Thalmic Augmentation. Let's get over into this and let's make our way down to Personal Flight. So we want Personal Flight. Complete that one. Uh, so we got the harness. Doesn't really do a whole lot right now, but we do have a harness. And then next up is the thaumostatic harness. So we're going to have to find the end of everything and be levitated by a creature from the end. So we actually have to go to the end before we can get flight and get the thaumostatic harness to, to get all that done. Aha. Got it. Okay. Cool. Flux focus. But I got a new focus. I made a, a healing one. Just for this fight. I've actually grabbed a bunch of the Dragon's Breath bottles. And I should probably grab one more just to make it an even 32. Should have grabbed more. Almost done. Couple more hits and you're a big mine. Get him with flux. Let's kill him with magic. One more. Boom. Done. Well, now that we're here, I've done a little ender pearl killing. Um, we're going to go try this out. I always hate doing these things. They make me so nervous. Um... So we're just going to like pillar up to it. All right. Oh, look at this. This isn't the elytra one, but we should knock some things out here. Um, let's see. We gotta get hit by something that floats, right? Yep, your understanding of levitation has been lifted to new heights. What do I got to scan here? All right, guys. So we're back. Um, I've got the chorus fruit planted so we can get a nice steady supply of alienus down in our in our smelting factory. And uh, I've, I've harvested a little bit and got some stuff going, so all was well. I actually recorded a 16-minute clip and uh, none of my audio recorded over through. Do I even have audio here? I do. Okay, so that's good. Um, so what we did, I'll just run through. Uh, we went through here. We already had the personal flight one. We got the thaumostatic harness. 
And since we have met the requirements over at the end, we are able to get that. Um, and then I unlocked the Thaumium Casters Gauntlet. And we made that, which this thing, is uh, apparently it says, allows the caster to be about 10% more efficient with the usage of V and a slightly reducing the cooldown between casts. So we, we made that, checked it out. And it doesn't really seem that much faster, but maybe it is. I'll take the I'll take the manual's word for it. Um, also, we moved up here and did the first part of this. We've got the theory. We just need to get the Void Seer's pearl and get some uh, primordial motes and pearls or whatever nodules, and get this thing crafted. So, uh, so yeah, we just lost a whole bunch of footage. Um, I've got a rift here. We had one here. We had one here. I destroyed them, and then these three new ones popped up. So I need to just kind of AFK and let things kind of simmer down, and maybe these things will collapse on their own. Um, maybe our area. Oh, I I need to make a new. Um, I need to make a new thing. I've got the gold here, and let's get that. Because this, in the first slot, is the most amazing thing that I just found out is. Um, but yeah, so over here, you can see we've got a whole bunch of V in the area. And it's just it's just all spilling out from this giant one that I had over here. Um, so this is actually going down con considerably. Um, this one, a little bit. Uh, this one, yeah, we're still, we're still pretty high over here. So once these things all, all dissipate and disappear... Then I'll try to get into um, finding these prim primordial pearls, maybe in the next episode, and we'll we'll try to get a couple so we can do our crafting. We can get the the uh, the Essentia smeltery, get that one going, and then I mean we've got all this stuff. Is this yeah, hundred percent? That's everything in the Elderich tab. So that's all done. Uh, we've got to get all the Thomic augmentation stuff done. Um, but yeah, so we'll get that stuff all taken care of next episode, but I'm going to do some AFK and basically some, some V farming, um, some taint farming and, and get this thing all situated so we can get some primordial pearls and have, uh, have some nice testing to do. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Sorry, it kind of jumps around and is a bit out there. Um, <laughs> but it was a, it was a, a troubling re rec recording of the of the episode this time nothing seemed to be going right so i had to like hodgepodge it all together but anyway take care everybody hope you enjoyed the cursed episode my name is marty signing out peace